everyone, Sodius here, and with me today is Saint Balmung, and we are going to talk gaming news for the second time today. This is take two, because I done fucked up. Yep, you did. <laughs> I messed up big time. So, welcome nah, back, you if did. you're still watching. You didn't um, fuck up too bad. It wasn't too bad. I only forgot to just switch internet so that I could actually live stream in the first place. Yeah. I mean, well, you didn't do what I did. At least you didn't have the stream playing in the background like a big dummy. <laughs> That's true. So the first thing I want to talk about today, not so much of a surprise for you anymore, is Umbrella Corps. Uh, was it Core? How do you spell it? It's Core, isn't it? Something it's like yeah, Umbrella Core. Um, so yeah, this popped up on our Steam list just yesterday, and... I wish I recorded your freaking reaction. Your it reaction was, was priceless. It was I amazing. thought I was going to cry. <laughs> thought I was going to cry. It was like just a destruction of your like one of your favorite series right in well, front of your eyes. I, I just don't understand. Uh, I, I, I mean, I, I know why Capcom is doing it, right? Because the squad-based... Cla cla sorry, I had to move my chair. But the uh, squad-based class-based shooter is like really popular right now so they figured they'd do something like that with zombies as well and uh i don't think i'd be that upset by it but seeing just seeing the game itself like seeing just seeing this trailer like it doesn't look like like and don't get me wrong i don't mind unity as an engine right this trailer is actually a lot better than what we were seeing on steam like i did not see this it, on steam it still looks pretty ass yeah. Honestly. The Steam ones were awful. Like, you just see people jumping around and sort of crawling. Like, who are suddenly, it was just terrible. Yeah, but, no, I don't mean to insult Unity here, but I, I just don't think that, uh, I, I, I just don't think that, uh, Unity would have been the engine you would want to use for this game. Uh, no, for one. Probably not. And, and two, like, it's Capcom. They could have made, like, they could have made their own engine for the game. You know, it made this game everything it could, you know, every, you know, they could have put all the effort into it and they mm -hmm. just did. It's like they're just throwing it out there to get to hop on the whole, you know, team based shooter wagon that's gonna just like when Hearthstone launched it, you know, you're and League launched, you're gonna see clone after clone, you know, come out of, of these games. Now, it's not an exact clone of your, you know, of your, your Overwatch or your Team Fortress 2 or anything like that, but you could see the similarities. You could see why they're, what they're doing here, what they're, you know, what they're trying to achieve here. Yeah, It's absolutely. very disappointing. It's, it's just kind of weird. I mean, sure, the Resident Evil games... I mean, okay, people's argument is that it's not a Resident Evil game, but... Come on, it's Umbrella, you know. It's set in the Resident Evil universe. The previous couple of Resident Evil games have been pretty bad themselves. I so... can't think of any other game the Umbrella Corporation comes out of, so I don't have any other thing to tie it to but Resident Evil, honestly. 100% Resident Evil. Even in the trailer, is like, go to ResidentEvil.com to find out more. Yeah. And so, you know, it's kind of silly to see this. I don't know, I guess I was just like... I'm hoping they would redeem their series already. I mean, it's about freaking time. Well, I go mean, apparently, apparently, Resident Evil Seven is gonna go back to the roots of survival horror. Yeah. I don't believe. What I don't believe that. One I don't fucking believe bit. them either. Especially Not seeing one shit like this come bit. out. No, I don't believe that in the slightest. So, yeah. I don't know if they want to. You know, I'm gonna buy it. Are you really? You're I'm gonna, gonna you're buy gonna it. You're gonna risk wasting money. I put myself through Umbrella. I mean, uh, I put myself through the. Uh, oh, what the hell was that? Operation Raccoon City. Okay. I beat that game. Did you really? I got to the first level twice. Like, Fuck this shit. Twice. Wow. Why twice? Because I wanted to see if the endings were any different, and they were exactly the same, just from the opposite side. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yep. That's awful. I don't know. I hope then they make Resident Evil 7 better and, uh, you know, a sort of return to the origins. A of return the to form. A return to form, yeah. Yeah, would be nice. exactly. None of this, what I would call side shit, <laughs> you know. It's like, it's almost as bad as making like a mobile game 
It's it's just terrible. Don't I Hero Shoot is not awful, but well, it, it all so... boils down to they're like I said, they're they're just they're, they want to grab that cash. They they want to try and make money off of that that team based shooter craze that's hap- well, kind of happening. I guess Overwatch and Battleborn Born are the only two that are like well, I mean Battleborn's not a, a shooter per se, but you know the team based like uh, kind of shooter games. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm not gonna give it an absolute avoid until I've tried it, but I I can tell you now I really don't think that's gonna interest me in the slightest. Uh, I I don't think it's gonna be great at all, honestly. But you know I I it's Resident Evil, so I guess I I gotta touch it. Yeah, I got my hands on it. <laughs> you you've dedicated yourself to the series. I mean, Resident Evil 6 already broke me pretty bad. I can't imagine what this game is going to do to me. Well, only time will tell, I suppose. I don't know when it releases. I don't know if it's said in that trailer. But it's only just popped up on Steam for me. I know it does. It, uh, I can actually the find last a trailer. The actually like a month ago. If you have a look at that, I'm going to move on to the next one. If this would stop playing. There we go. Next... Total War Warhammer was released, and have you? Did you ever play the old Total War games? No. Nope. Back in the day, no. I remember, like, since way back when I was in freaking school, um, we used to pit classes against each other. And I don't know, was it? I think it was Rome Total War, or something like that. One of the old ones, and it was amazing. Just like this huge, massive scale uh, battles, and Warhammer have done be doing an excellent job at sort of bringing those. Uh, continuously since then and now they are bringing a Warhammer version which is super cool because the Warhammer universe is awesome and today I was watching Node play, I don't know if you know about Node no they do a ton of shit Um, Mm. but yeah they were playing it and it looked super fun, definitely you you can get a very uh, Total War feel from it almost to the point where it feels like maybe it's just reskins you know <laughs> but yeah i also i have to agree agree the uh the universe the warhammer universe is incredible i actually played the uh, warhammer mmo more than i played wow yeah i never got into the warhammer MMO. i wish i did because it was so play. fucking good dude so good uh, uh well, i was I, so I sad when it shut I mean, down it's, it's, still, it's still around right no, it shut down. It shut down a long time ago. Are you serious? I thought I saw well, not a long time ago. A few years ago, it shut down. Oh, I had no idea. Oh, that's mm-hmm. a shame. Kind of missed out on that one then. But yeah, this looks awesome. This is definitely something I want to give a try at some point, maybe over the next month. Um, obviously, I'm not. I'm not too into strategy games, but Total War games. Says the games guy are. that plays Stellaris. Stellaris is like the only strategy game that I will play non-stop because it's freaking awesome. Stellaris was fantastic, a real surprise. So I'm really happy about that. Oh, um, uh, sorry to interrupt, but uh, Umbrella Core releases on the 21st in the US and Europe and on the 23rd in Japan and Asia. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Interesting that it's coming to Japan and Asia in the last when... What is original Biohazard was, you know, originally Japanese, I believe. Oh. Uh, pretty sure it was. But so that's. Well, next, no, it that's, was. What I mean, I don't know why they're doing it. It's what the that's next know. month, right? Yep. Awesome. Gonna ch- um, check it out, but we'll see. We'll hold off judgment. Next, I want to talk about Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Now, you did not get to play the beta. I did. The beta was freaking awesome. Did you play the original Mirror's Edge? Nah, I think uh, uh, I didn't play a lot, a lot of uh, different titles around that time, just because, like you know, I had a lot of stuff that I was really into. And I think that at that point uh, in time, I was uh, playing a lot more um, like physical card games, and I mean, I did game, you know what I mean. But my focus was more on RPGs and stuff like that, and a lot of that. What I did outside of that was like physical card games, board games with buddies, and stuff like that. Plus a lot of drinking. A lot. <laughs> a lot of drinking. A lot, a lot of drinking. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Well, the original Mirror's Edge was very linear. And uh, that was one of the biggest downsides to it is you were pretty much forced to go where the game wanted you to go. Um, the story was okay. 
The free run in Odyssey was new. One of those guys new. that eats an open world to enjoy a game. That makes me sad. No. I'm not saying you need an open world to enjoy a game. I'm just saying it was very obviously linear for a game that's all about free running and, you know, freedom of movement. So, Mirror's Edge Catalyst fixes everything. The game is obviously very reminiscent of the first. You've got the fantastic free running mechanics. Um, but now it's an open world. You can explore the entire city and the whole place looks beautiful. It's so good and it ran so well. I was so impressed with the beta. So I have a video of that coming up hopefully next week. I'm not going to say for definite because, you know, no, am I like it won't come out in time. But I want to get that up before the actual game released. And then as you can see there, it released on the 9th of June. So I don't have too long to actually get that sorted. But yeah, that's a game I am going to buy pretty much on release for sure. That game looks fantastic and play it first with Xbox One access. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm oh, gonna get yeah. PC because I don't well, actually duh. have a console. You know yeah. who the f only plebs buy consoles. Jeez. <laughs> Moving on, have you played this? Then I know you don't like the Minecrafty kind of style of game, but this is Seven Days to Die. The only sort of. Um, Similarities. The only thing that came to mind when I saw that game was, oh look, Minecraft zombies moving on. <laughs> it's good, I'd rather play. Mi I'd rather it's... play Minecraft. Minecraft, Minecraft, because it has so much more to do, minus combat. You haven't seen. You said you haven't played this game. How do you know? That? I've watched it. How do you think I decided I didn't like it? It's got crafting. It's got gathering. Pretty much what Minecraft has. It's got um, co you know, some. But it looks combat. like shit. It does not it look looks like shit. fucking terrible. Are you serious right now? I think the game looks fucking terrible. <sighs> Honestly. This is from a guy who earlier was saying graphics don't make a game. They don't make a game, but the gameplay, like... I, the gameplay is just Minecraft with zombies. That's literally what it is. And it's not even, like... You know, it it doesn't outdo Minecraft in in its level of creativity. Like the things you can do, you 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 probably. Can, I mean, granted, like I said, I didn't play it, but I get, I almost guarantee you, you won't see anything as cool come out of uh, Seven Days to Die as you would out of Minecraft. I I would actually be willing to put money on that. Hmm. Well, anyway, I know that's a dangerous thing to say. Yeah, I, I'm trying to I, think. I end up I do losing play, a lot I do of money. Have it. Um, but anyway, this is coming to, you throw me off, but I believe it's coming to Xbox, maybe PlayStation 4. Um, obviously there's going to be some sort of revamps. They're going to have split screen co-op, which obviously is, there's no point in having that on a PC, but for console that makes perfect sense. And basically some graphical improvements, as I'm sure you'll disagree with me there, but Still, it's an interesting game, and anyone who loves Minecraft and zombies, then definitely check it out because it adds them both flawlessly. Obviously, not everyone's cup of tea. Just saying, there's better zombie games out there. Just want to point that out. Okay, much name better. Some. I know there is, but name some. Uh, if you say Daisy, we cannot be. A friends. game from quite a long time ago. Granted, it's not the exact same game. I'm talking about zombie games in general, not just that style of zombie game. Uh, Left 4 Dead. I'd play Left 4 Dead over that any day. That's a completely uh, different kind of game. Dead Rising. I said zombie game. I did not say zombie sur zombie survival crafting game. I said zombie game. I can play much more entertaining zombie games. Fine. Fine. Let's move on to and speak. also, if we take away zombies, I can play much better survival games. One that instantly comes to mind is Don't Starve. Alright, whatever. Let's go to something we both agree on. So this game came out yesterday and we both live-streamed it last night. Oh, this game is fucking shit! No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Get off the stream! <laughs> How dare you? Okay, so yeah, this was amazing. This was a huge surprise. As soon as we heard it and we thought RuneScape, we're like, oh god. RuneScape is trying to become more of a thing. But this game was actually bloody amazing. What did you think to it? Obviously, we um, played it quite a bit yesterday. 
as somebody who enjoys tabletop gaming and card gaming or card games, this is a really like really cool thing to see. You, you haven't you don't see very many games like this on a digital platform, and like the attempts at it haven't been terribly, you know, terribly good. Uh, but this game just does pretty much everything right. The uh, only problems I'm seeing so far. From my a very limited experience, probably only played the game for like ten hours. I know limited experience, right? But um, uh, I see that the game could uh, the game seems to be about who can rush you down first. Yeah, and obviously you don't control what cards you get, so you know yeah, well, you can have an a lot of it, shit deck from throughout the entire match. Or it seems like you want to put enough draw in your deck to just draw a like. An OTK, basically. Mm. Like, that's that's what you're looking to do. Or at least from uh, the classes that I've played, it just, that seems the better way to play. Unless you have somebody to stacks armor the entire game, then it can be a bit of an issue. But I don't, I don't know what I'm you're sure, about. I'm sure there are ways to counter that. <laughs> I don't know who would stack armor throughout the whole match after they've lost 3-0 three near, three near to you. And I still nearly beat you. Kind of. Yeah, you didn't I was very much have alive much still. left in you. You I didn't have much, much left. alive still. No, you're just saying that. Interesting, I went up against an NPC, and by the end, I had thirty health and thirty armor, and I, I just felt like that was a little OP. I guess I just drew some good cards. Huh, sounds like Control Warrior. <laughs> so, anything you would like to talk about while we're here? Because if uh, I'm that's all the freaking videos I've got right now. Oh, we don't need videos to keep talking. Exactly. Who needs video? You got us. You have our ugly mugs. Ugh, I don't know what you're talking show. about. I have a fucking fantastic looking mug. It's fucking gorgeous right here. <laughs> so, yeah. So what uh, else have you been playing lately besides Winscape Legends and Hearthstone? Um, Overwatch. Been playing playing some Overwatch. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting kind of get bored of the game already. And I didn't... I mean, I it's didn't, just last week. I mean, obviously I it's just released and it was all like hype. But I didn't play it for I didn't even play it for that long though. I think I may have played it for a grand total of twelve hours, okay. if that. And uh, I don't know. It just I I prefer like I prefer shooters more. Like uh, I don't know. I prefer to be able to take my time more, not having to play so aggressively, um, not have to worry about getting one shot. You know, just out of nowhere in most cases unless the enemy team has a sniper in most games you don't really have to worry about getting one shot unless you're incredibly unlucky um i don't know um i i i think for me uh it's the same problem i have with tf2 it's it's a game i can only play in small doses it's not to say the game's bad it's just you know it can be frustrating um at times, especially uh, due to things like hero stacking, um, there only being. Um, I agree that in that game, there should only be one of each hero. Yeah, well, it's not. It's when, not just that. Also, I don't like the level design either, where it's like um, it, the defense. It's so heavily skewed toward the the defense to win. Hmm. Not so much in Palo, but more you see it more in um, in uh, domination. Do you feel like and there's not much more? Uh, yes, Adam Rousseau. We're now talking about Overwatch. We were talking about other stuff, but yeah, we're talking about Overwatch now. Um, do you feel like Overwatch maybe doesn't have much more to offer you in terms of you know new stuff? You played every map, you played all the characters, so... I mean, if they add more game modes, maybe do some balancing. Uh, I just, like, another thing I see they're trying to push this really hard is, like, a, uh, like an eSport, like, is a competitive game, and I don't see it. Like... As far as it get, like as far as like being a competitive game, I honestly think, to me, it's kind of a joke, really? because of how Im yeah, it's a spec. Well, would you think I something like basketball I don't, I would don't, be a competitive game? I, well, hold on. I think the, the the biggest reason it's a joke to me is like I've seen a lot of focus on payload as a uh, as the compet as one of the competitive modes, and I just don't see it. And the scoring system I've seen used for it made no sense. Um, typically, in most games, uh, the winner of a match wins the match, right? They get match point. Okay, yeah. In the case of uh, 
the tournament format I've seen for the payload, it's you your points are based off of the time in which you uh, won the payload. You know, push the payload into the objective. Oh really? No, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Which makes no sense to me. Hmm. Like in any other game, if you won, that was match point for you, right? right. In this case, you even if you win, you can still lose. Okay. Which makes no sense. So as long as they also, delay you, that's all that really matters. Yeah. And also, um, I don't necessarily think... Uh, I mean, balancing would be nice to see, but I don't think it's as necessary as taking away hero stacking. That's one of the biggest reasons, to me, it looked like a joke. Like, I was watching the tournament that they were streaming, and at one point, you end up with two Winstons, two, uh, two McCrees, two Reapers, you know, just... Just stacking, like, at one point you saw four tanks on a team, like, like two of each of the same tank. And it's like, this, you know, make it interesting, you know, make your composition I, I don't, work. like I said before, I don't think there should be the same, yeah, you know, exactly. multiple of the same characters, especially when the game puts so much effort into, you know, giving these characters a backstory and such. You don't want to see, like, well, five not even that, the same making such person. a diverse, like, making such a diverse cast with very unique toolkits. Yeah, it's crazy. But, yeah. Um, one thing I hated about when I played the beta. Uh, was the sort of overtime counter? Uh, I don't know if that's the uh, exact uh, word they used for it, but that was complete bullshit. You know, and then there was times where we were like clearly had won, and it was like overtime time, and it just kept going until the other team freaking somehow managed to turn it around. It's like, what the hell? Are you finding that in now in the full release too? Have they checked many? Yeah, I actually today? lose. I lose a lot of games off of the back of overtime, like where we like, you know. We basically, you know, the, the, the fucking vehicle is on the point, like literally pushed onto the point. It can't, you know, it can't move any further forward. And because they're and just hanging. It's like you haven't won. Like it's there. That's where you need yeah. to get it. That's so stupid. But I don't know. I don't know what their future sort of uh, plans are in regards to adding new heroes and such. How many heroes are there now throughout the game? Do you know? Because I know Battleborn one has 22. over 20. Okay. Is it twenty one or twenty two? I know Battleborn just announced a new one today. In fact, oh. let me uh, let me check that real quick. All right. Uh, yeah, I do want to maybe grab Overwatch in the next month. Um, seems interesting. I'm worried that you're getting kind of bored of it already. That worries me a lot. But I think uh, most of what, what? it was twenty one. Twenty one. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think most of what made you interested in the game in the first place and build up a little hype for it was us playing it together. Like, it's such a different experience when you have someone yeah. to play it with, when well, you have a team and, that you can communicate with. And it's, it's not the same. Just because I'm, uh, also, just because I'm a little bit bored, like, getting bored of it now doesn't mean that I won't go back to it or anything. It's just, like, it's not like, uh, you know, I and now these are completely different games that I'm, I'm about to bring up another game, but okay. these are completely different games, but it's not a Hearthstone or even uh, the new, that new, the new game we were talking about, uh, Chronicles RuneScape Legends, where I can just put time, you know, time into it. It's just, it's enjoyable to play for the most, well, Hearthstone can be a bit, quite a bit frustrating do, at times because of aggro and RNG, but that's card games in general. So, but, uh, you know, I just don't, you know, I don't see myself putting the same amount of time into Overwatch as I would uh, Hearthstone or or uh, like RuneScape Chronicles or even you know something like your Left for Deads or something like that. You know, saying that I think I would be more of the side of putting time into Overwatch than I would Hearthstone or you know Chronicles, RuneScape Legends, it's because I'm not. Uh, hold on one sec. What what second study is? Uh, no, it doesn't. Um, it's. It, it's not a. It doesn't really have a MOBA mentality. It's more. Uh, if you've ever played Hearthstone, if you ever played or not Hearthstone, if you ever played Team Fortress Two, it's got a very similar feel. Uh, if you ever, very similar feel to that. Um, in like you're in this game, you're more playing. Uh, you're 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 just focused on winning the objective. Uh, you don't have to worry so much about you know like. 
Uh, it's it's basically just team play and winning the objective. It doesn't have the moment mentality where people rage or too too very much. I mean, I you'll see a little say, bit of like, rage. You'll see a little bit of rage here and there, but it's not near like I haven't experienced anything in my time playing that I did when I was playing League or Dota or anything like that. Like mm. people are are you get some dickheads, but for the most part, people are fairly pleasant. Uh, you do get some people complaining, you know, that you're not playing at your best or you're trolling by not picking a support or something like that. But, you know, the rank when the ranked mode comes out, I'm sure you won't see nearly any, um, you know, nearly as much of that. I, like I said, it's not even that bad right now. doesn't mean it can't get worse, but right now it's not that bad. Uh, it's, 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 my biggest thing, as long as you're, like, as long as you're not, uh, like, you know, going out of your way to make games di- like you know make games difficult for your own team or anything like that. I I don't think people are going to give you ter- too terribly much shit. Yeah, that's what forced me away from other movies like League and uh, League, Dota, Smite, those kind of shit. Like, I can't stand those games because there's such this stigma, like if you, uh, against newbies to the game like there is no room to get good at the game because people just are the fucking worst you know well another Second thing you do is something though, wrong they have to tell you about it going into the game completely well, blind you don't know what items do yeah you know all that kind of stuff well i see at the same time though there are ways to teach yourself about the game without going into a game with other players as well like Honestly, I think a lot of a big thing that a lot of a big mistake a lot of people make when they go to play MOBAs, uh, it, and they get really frustrated because either they get their ass handed to them or somebody uh, you know um, complains about them not playing well. A lot of the times they did something, they skipped something very valuable. A lot of them skip tutorials and uh, playing against like bots and stuff like that. Now, granted, it may not be as entertaining, but let me tell you, somebody who played League for a long time. I wouldn't play new champions straight into live or anything like that. I would take them into bot games because, one, I wanted to learn everything I can about this champion before I take it on ladder or against other people. And, two, I don't want to make other people's lives difficult if I – like, I still might make their life difficult because I might not be the best at the champion. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I'm not going to be to the point where – I'm completely useless, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, Absolutely. and, you know, and I, I get that some people just want to rush into a game and check it out, but you really should look at those tutorials. Like, even if you don't want to necessarily play through them, just read the things they have to say. A lot of the, like, a lot of tutorials for, like, your, your... Uh, the learning curve for There's Overwatch not really is much of a learning curve at all, if I'm honest. I mean, even in the beta, it was just before release, so I there mean, wasn't much change. But basically, if you can do, uh, if you can do, uh, like you know, if you're good at uh, first-person shooters, you know, I mean, granted, this isn't your typical first-person shooter, but if you're good at first-person shooters, like you know, as long as you know, basically how to shoot and kill your target, you should be pretty well all right. If you're playing like a DPS character, the healing and tank characters can be a little weird, um, just because. Certain tanks aren't as tanky as you would imagine. They're even though they're classified as a tank, they do more damage than soak damage, which is really awkward. But they can still take a, a lot of damage because they have higher health pools. Um, also, tanks suffer. Like I will say, the biggest pro, like biggest thing, uh, playing a tank in the game, uh, the biggest the biggest negative is how slow they are. Puts you at such a huge disadvantage to really like faster characters like tracers and uh hanzo or, or i mean not hanzo's genjis uh you know anybody with or or even a soldier because he can sprint any basically anybody with high mobility yeah no the questions are good um yeah it's fine the choice of heroes is not really overwhelming because they do a good job at splitting them up into their sort of support categories uh, so it's rather easy to pick a hero and you very quickly learn what their precise skills are. I mean, even if you watch the trailers and such, you're very, they're very distinct from each other. So you'll very easily be able to go, well, this character can teleport or that character can pull things towards him, stuff like that. So the choice of character is not very overwhelming in the slightest and you can change your character at any point throughout the match, if I remember correctly. So Yeah, 
that's another thing that bothers me about uh, the thought going into competitive play too. Really? I think, Why is that? yeah. I mean, you think because people I be think for people to sort of change their tactics as they play. No, they should actually go in with a plan. That's that's what they should do. They should go in with a plan, not be like, "Oh shit, we fucked up. Let's fix that." And make you know, let's fix that. No, you made your team composition the way you did for a reason. Now stick to that and win. It actually, to me, I mean, granted, being able to switch heroes to counter other heroes does show adaptability, but at the same time, yeah, um, say, not yeah. being able to not being able to adapt with the a composition you clearly thought out. You know what I mean? To me, shows an even uh, greater weakness in a sense that you can't adapt with what you're you can't make do with what you have you have to take more you know what I mean you have to take something else you know and, and throw it in there as a band-aid to basically fix your fuck up mm. you're going to notice in Overwatch 2 that every character also has their strengths and weaknesses against other characters yeah. so well, if you uh, can't play as a team there's no hope because you're well, going to pretty much to an guarantee extent, to find at least one other player who is a yeah. character that's gonna destroy to an extent, your dream. I think is down. Yep, we're offline. Uh, I'm typing in there. There we go. We're back. We back. We're back. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. Sorry there. about that. Um, I can't remember what you were talking about actually. I don't even. I don't remember. But we can we can we can just answer uh, Adam's other question. Um, the other one about uh, let me see, yeah, about counterplay. There is definitely like the there is definitely some counterplay. Like for example, uh, if the enemy team is a lot of uh, less mobile mobile um, he has a lot of less mobile heroes heroes in it. Um, like Widowmaker, for example, is really good because you can you you can use your sniper rifle to its greatest advantage. You know what I mean? You you don't being that they move slower, it's easier to line up your headshots. You know to get out that to get out your optimal optimal damage. Um, I think getting in. You know, yep, we're we're down again. We're having some issues. Yay. Oh, we're we're good. Um, you sure? But uh, like, yeah, it's back okay. up. Oh no, I'm frozen now. That's because there's a delay on the Twitch. No, I'm I'm actually frozen, like freezing up to really me, bad. Fine. Oh, there yeah. we go. We're better now. Um. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Damn, no, I lost my train of thought. In, but there is definitely there's definitely counterplay. Is what the point is. There's definitely some counterplay. Um, for the most part, though, um, you can, you know, as long as you have at least a t at least one sort of like tank on your, you know, tanky person, somebody that can shield and heal, or shield, or, or somebody that can shield, and, and another character that can heal is really good too. Like having both of them, um, you know, and then you have some DPS guys. You can still do really good. I mean, you don't even need a high DPS person on your team at all if you don't want to. I've seen compositions like that, and they do fairly well. You know, it's just you can, you can make almost anything work in this game, which is really nice. But there are some, there are definitely some, there is definitely some counterplay. Like I said, like for me, like like I said, I noticed like you know, there's a lot of slow people on the on the team. I'll pick uh, somebody like Tracer or. Um, or even somebody like Diva, where I can be really aggressive, get in there, drop my, uh, drop my alt, you know, on on them, uh, because they're slower, it's, they're less mobile. It's harder for them to get away from my alt. Also, Diva is really good against uh, sniper, sniper characters, because she just uses her uh, speed boost to get up in their face and blow, pretty much blow them away before they have a chance to react. Uh, then you have Reinhardt. Actually, Reinhardt, even though he's one of the tanks that I said. It, it, one of those slow guys, uh, he's actually really good against somebody like Widowmaker because he has the shield that he holds up, and it'll just eat her rounds for days. So, you know, yeah, there, like I said, there's definitely a good bit of, of uh, counterplay. It's, but it's not like hard counters, you know what I mean? You can, you can still lose picking a Widowmaker into a slow team if you're, you know... If if they play really well, or you know, you you just happen to be having an off game or something like that, 
you know, they can still beat you. There's not really any hard counters, but there's definitely there's definitely at least some counterplay in there. Yeah. I know I I, I ranted on about that. That's I apologize. <laughs> but yeah. You're obviously more expert on this than I am. I just played the beta a couple of times. But like you said, calling this... me an expert is an insult to anybody who's like marginally good at the game. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's okay have you ever heard of a game called Savage it was sort of like um, sort of like a MOBA back in the day but also had like a sort of base building element built into it it was great this was a fair number of years ago Um, but now on early access on Steam is Savage Resurrection let me just send you I won't send you a link right now actually because I'll fuck up Skype but uh, yeah so this game was incredible back in the day. It's definitely like something that had never ever been done before. So imagine you're playing a MOBA, one that has you know minions and so forth, and there's sort of someone. I can't remember if it was one person or one of the team had a choice to actually build a base so they can build up defenses or you know make extra barracks for the minions and so forth. And it was added a real. So it's like an RTS MOBA, and it was really interesting to see. Well, I mean, if you liked something like that, you should have actually, you should get Battleborn because the one game mode is basically, I mean, it's like tower defense where you push your minions into the other, uh, into like the enemy's, I don't know, it's like a grinder basically, and it like, okay. it, it eats up the, you know, your minions and I get like eventually destroys it. It's pretty interesting. Hmm. Fair enough. I'll have to send you this link over in a bit. But yeah, anything else you would like to talk about? Ah, I, I mean, unless Adam has any more questions before we uh, wrap up here, you know. Anything else you'd like to know, Adam? Yeah. If he's still watching, I can't tell. He is. He is. We try to uh, we do this uh, once a week. Every Friday. Every Friday we do it. Aw, oh, Mamory Bland, you're cute. You're a cute fella. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we do it uh we do it once a week I and we tend to podcast. stream a lot. That's that's a, that's a good name, thank you. We we tend to do uh, like some co-op gameplay and stuff like that on the channel too. Uh, we just recently did uh, uh, the RuneScape or Chronicles RuneScape Legends game yesterday. Actually, we covered that for a bit. That was actually really fun. That was a lot of yeah. fun. We should do that again at some we point. We just rebooted the Twitch channel, so um, we obviously aim to do something every night, preferably. Well, if yep, we've we're got we've actually got something pretty cool in store for tomorrow. We do. And the next day, we've got some uh, good content coming up over the weekend, so that's going to be great. Yep. So yeah, other than that, I think that's about all I've got to talk about. How about you? Same here. It's really fucking hot in here, by the way. I'm sweating buckets, and it's not even hot outside. It's my freaking computer. It's 90 fucking degrees in here, man. (laughs) It is 90 degrees in here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and end the podcast there. Thank you for joining us. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, which we'll be up to on in a bit, feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Other than that, we will see you guys tomorrow. I'm not sure what exact game we're going to be playing tomorrow. Do you know? We got a handful. Yeah, we have quite a few to pick from now. So yeah. we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good Keep night. Keep an eye out for that, by the way. Yeah. And have a good night, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>